Well, this shot is all beige on beige, but here we have the uh, guitar back. I've used a thin line of super glue to join, and I actually used my hands as a temporary clamp to join this end. And I'm now joining the other end using um, what we call in England a sash cramp. I'm not sure. It's a kind, it's a G-shaped clamp, but we call it a sash cramp, I think. Um, the back is not a flat back, it's got an arch to it, a slight arch to it, which I can see on the shape of the braces. So it's just a little bit tricky, but... Having used the quick setting super glue to fix both ends of the back, join both ends of the back, when that's properly dry I can then start to use woodworking glue, the equivalent of tight bond really, to do the rest of the join. And I'm going to use um, thin strips of wood as uh, really quite thin strips of wood along the join one piece between each pair of braces as a reinforcing sort of cleat to cut the reinforcing cleat pieces I'm actually going to use this beautiful knife which was made by Sami in the north northern part of Norway it's black steel and so it really holds an edge so instead of an exacto knife I'm using this much more rigid blade to do the uh, cutting of the cleat, cleats to the right size and shape so here I'm gluing and instead of clamping I'm using gravity to bear down on the the cleat which is uh, the first one of one two three the first one of four along the center join of the two back pieces the plane is just on there for weight um, so it's a guitar neck supporter with a plane that's enough weight to press down and get squeeze out of the ordinary wood glue that I'm using for this cleat reinforcement Let's zoom in a little. Here I'm using um, part of a bicycle inner tube as a clamp on the centre section of the, the join between the two halves of the guitar back. It's quite tricky. Obviously they have to be in line like this, in this way. Um, the join has to be as close together all the way along as it can be. I, I mean, when you first make a guitar, it's invisible because you've just planed them, the joint flat, and then you, you're gluing them together. These pieces have been hanging around for quite a long time, and so they've, they've warped to some extent. So it's very difficult to get the two surfaces to be continuous without being able to feel a step. So here, here there's a slight step up to this side, here there's a slight step down to that side, here it's pretty flat, and here there's a slight step up to this side, and then it's pretty flat. It's tricky, and um, there has to be a slight curve as well. The braces are curved underneath. I'll be clamping the guitar to the braces when I finally glue it to them and they will more accurately define the, the original curve of the guitar so at the moment it's slightly too curved it's normal to put one strip when you first make a guitar in this way it's normal to put the one strip all the way along the joint then to cut a rebate into the braces. In this case there wasn't an original centre strip 
I'm choosing not to weaken the braces by cutting them anymore. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in pieces of strip just as a effectively a very long cleat on this join. I hope that makes some sense. So waiting for this to really harden before doing anything else. There seem to be two types of glue on the braces and uh, before scraping and sanding I decided to soak the braces in water to see if that would soften the glue and it did um, it came out like white cheese at least the glue which has been splashed around the outside of the braces I think that was an attempt at a repair that somebody was doing through the sound hole at some point anyway the cheese scraped off nicely. So now I'm gluing on the longest of the braces using ordinary G cramps and ordinary woodworking glue. There's a lot of waiting in this job, waiting several hours each time for the woodworking glue to dry. So I'm using four clamps for this, which hopefully well, it's not hopefully. I can see they're squeeze out all along, so it should be fine. I realise I'm doing a bit too much of this job off camera, so um, I'm putting on a second brace here. So I've put a line of wood glue where the brace is going, and then the brace itself, I would normally spread the glue with a paintbrush, but I I don't know where I put my paintbrush, so I'll spread it with my fingertip instead. The point is it has to cover the whole surface of both gluing surfaces. And there'll be a fair amount of squeeze out when I put the clamps on. This glue doesn't set off quickly, so there's plenty of time to do this. Position the brace, position the clamps, I mean there's probably half an hour. Got my cloth ready for the squeeze out, and uh, that's better. You can see the guitar now. So here we go. There's a hell of a lot of squeeze out already. Okay, so I'm going to put on the first clamp. The clamps have actually leather on the clamping surfaces. Cork is, prob is, is probably better, but I have more leather around than I have cork. Okay, let's do this. close to the middle with this one I've put a lot more glue on than I did with the first brace I'm not sure why ok so that that clamp is not on very hard so I need to be able to move the brace into exactly the right position. But I think it is. I think it's there. Okay, more clamps. This one close to the end of the brace. It's a slightly curved surface, a slightly curved surface, but I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, it feels like the I'm feeling with my fingers how much 
how close the end of the brace is to the edge of the of the back and they feel equal. Another clamp on the other side now. All these clamps have leather on their clamping faces. This is a bit tricky. They have, they have to be centered, otherwise when you screw them down, the disc of the clamp falls off to one side. Okay, it feels right now. So we have three clamps. I'm gonna get some of the squeeze out off while well, I can still reach it. I've put twice as much and maybe three times as much glue on as I needed. Perhaps because I knew I was going to film it I went a bit over the top. Here it all comes back off again. Bit of a waste of good wood glue. This clamp is actually sloping over to one side. I'm just going to reposition it. There. And it's bearing down harder now. Okay, that's most of the squeeze out removed. Particularly important at the ends where I'm going to have to mate the sides to this top so we don't want any lumps of dried squeeze out getting in the way of that. There we go. On the other end, same problem. Clean it up. There we are. Okay, looking good. Bit more pressure on here, I think, and on here. Uh, maybe another clamp because I have them. So why not? What do we think? A little bit more pressure here. A little bit more pressure here. And here. And here. Okay. It's going to be okay. Incidentally, for people who don't know how guitars are built, the braces are it's just strengthening pieces to stop these large slabs of thin wood from deforming during the guitar's lifetime. They add strength, basically, and they don't interfere really with the sound. Or Over the years they've discovered that there's a certain amount of bracing wood you can 
use without um, spoiling the sound of a guitar. And then there's one more, but I'm going to wait for this particularly because I want the clamps back to do the final one. This is a strange one. I don't know how easy it is to see. Are we in focus on this? It's in two pieces. It's like somebody made a brace and then decided it wasn't strong enough so they've put another piece on top. So I'm happy to see a line of glue. Hang on, this is having trouble focusing. A continuous line of glue along the base of these these braces. It gives me confidence. I think the reason why the uh, brace is parted company with the back is that the back is actually arched. And so there's a, a tension, I think, between the springiness of the wood and the adhesion of the braces. And after years and years, probably with temperature going up and down and humidity changes, then eventually the spring action broke the adhesion. The center line is not too bad. It's not invisible, but there's no light coming through it. Um, yeah, now I just need to put on the remaining cleats and the final brace. Making cleats to go along the center line of the guitar. So now I'm gluing in, gluing in the last cleat. Again, spreading the glue on every square millimeter of the gluing surface. Looks good. This glue, um, it's kind of a lubricant when it's wet, so it's the piece slides around. So you have to be careful when you apply weight or a clamp that it doesn't slide away from the position you want it in. I'm not a movie maker as you can see. Filmmaker I should say because I'm not American or English. I'm not a filmmaker. What I actually am is uh, Somebody who's trained in chemistry and spent a whole career in uh, nuclear safety and nuclear disarmament. I don't see any connection with this kind of work. But I'm retired from that career. <laughs>